I've talked about it in the past, but it's been so long and people still hate on FL for recording. Mm -hmm. But I just think it's people that don't really know. Like that FL is this advanced now in the recording aspect of everything. So I came across this video. I feel like everybody should be recording like this guy does. Find your next open playlist track, right click it and go down to track mode. Next go to audio track, then find your next open insert. This adds these three icons and automatically routes. By the way, if you're thinking that, oh, I have to do this on every single track, every single session, no. Create a template that has all this stuff in it. And then you open FL Studio up, you have a recording template and everything's already done for you and routed to the mixer. Don't think that you have to do this every single session. You just create a template. This playlist track to the mixer. Keep things neat, you should hit F2 and rename your playlist track. I'm also giving it a color. Now all you have to do is click this icon and select your input source. FL Studio automatically arms the track right here. Now when you record enable FL Studio and hit play, this input will be recorded. Say I want to keep this take but try again, I can hit T on the keyboard to bring up the mute tool, mute this audio clip, hit B to go back to the brush tool, and then hit record. I can record another take and FL Studio will automatically group it underneath the last audio clip. If you know someone who doesn't record vocals like this, tell them to follow me, please. Yeah. <laughs> follow him, please. Follow him, please. Yeah, because he's got some good recording gems. I like this kid. Yeah, that's What's his great. name? Current Content Co. Yeah, that's when huge. I saw that video, I was like, I have to like share this information somehow. So, I mean, this is like the yeah, that best speeds platform it up. to do it. That speeds it up completely. Yeah. That's almost like on some Pro Tools level shit. That's what I'm saying. Like people don't realize that this is multiple updates ago too. You could still record the older way of doing everything strictly inside the mixer. Yep. I did go through some of the comments and people were saying, oh, I, I still just use the mixer way. Sure. Whatever your like workflow is like, go for it. But this almost makes it more like a Pro Tools, more like a Logic yeah. in the sense of recording because you can now link whatever is in the playlist to the mixer accordingly. And it's not just like a free for all in the playlist because essentially what confuses a lot of people about FL Studio, they get so lost when it comes to the playlist. Mm. And it's because it's like a free-for-all. Yeah, Nothing really right. has to line and co-assign with a mixer track. Pattern number one in the playlist doesn't necessarily go with mixer number one. I can have every single pattern in track number one in the playlist <laughs> and I can have each individual sound go into a different mixer track. Right, they're not linked like that. That's where the disconnect is when people move from an Ableton or a Pro Tools to FL Studio and they're like, yo, this is a straight different language. That's the biggest reason they say that. With this tip and this recording tip, you can now assign track one, track two, track three to mixer tracks. And then, like I said, you don't have to do that every session. You create a template mm. and it speeds up that process like crazy. For and sure. if you get used to recording like that, then you record just as fast and just as good as, as anybody else in any other door. Right. The only thing I'd say is that with that block being the way that it is where you have to like do all the like the right clicking and stuff like that, I just feel like maybe if there was already a drop down in there that just came like- Like you're embedded. saying like when you, if you have to go and like right click on the track itself to yeah. do all that stuff. Yeah. Track mode and whatever yeah i mean i think that they could just Im incorporate that standard and it wouldn't be a net negative for them to do that i know what you're saying it, yeah just have it like it'll have just like a little arrow just like a lot of other things do yeah 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 like, exactly like when you hover over a track and if you want to like collapse you know how you can like collapse the track to be smaller like if you have like muted tracks or you just want to make the view better yeah that icon changes once you get to the bottom like lower the lower left of the track in the mm -hmm. playlist. So essentially like maybe instead of having that or having that as well as like a little drop down or like a thing in the top left, like in the top of the playlist where you have that little arrow that's pointing to the right when you hover over it, it points mm -hmm. down. Maybe have the same thing in inside each individual track in the yeah. playlist. Just so you know, like, oh, I can record right there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I think that that would be huge because, uh, I mean, people, like you said, people are used to looking at a, a, a software and it has that. So I think why why resist that, and, you know, try mm -hmm. it out. And I don't think it's a huge problem for people that are that have done everything and only have used FL Studio. For sure. But if you're coming from another DAW and then let's say, I don't know, you want to switch things up you or you wanted to cr start like making beats and then... And, you know, you start making beats in FL Studio and then you're like, all right, I want to like just do everything in one DAW, but I can't like record in FL Studio because it's like, you know, it's a different language. Right. I mean, things like this are going to help you so much.